So again, my YouTube friends, I got another quick video for you here today. I'm not sure when I'll uh, post this, make it public, but whenever. Here it is. I have three Baron Sun Bowies, big Bowies from Baron Sun. Love, love them. Um, Baron Sun uh, makes these in the USA, so that's a plus. They're not high grade steels, but uh, two of them are 12C27, and one of them's D2. But that's still fine enough for me. Um, that's good enough for general use. So here's the first one. I've shown this one before, I think. I'm not sure. Comes in this nice leather dangler sheath. Um, this is a W49 style buoy, just like the old Western buoys. Um, the old Western W49s. Uh, Cold Steel makes one uh, W49 type knife. That's the Wild West buoy. I have one of those too. I think I've shown that. I'm not sure, but I think I have. But a very nice sheath. It even comes in the same type of sheath as the old Western W49. Pull it out, and there you go. This is called the Gold Rush buoy. That's what they call it. Very nice. Coca Bolo handles. Very nice looking wood. Very nice. Full tang, as you can see. S guard. 12C27 blade steel, so it's stainless. Uh, 12C27 is underrated steel. It's not quite as good as. It's a Sandvik steel, but it's not quite as good as the 14C28. But the difference between 12C and 14C is not huge. Um, there is a difference. 14C will hold an edge longer, but. Uh, the difference in edge retention is not so drastic that it's a, a huge deal. Yes, I'd prefer the 14C, but yeah, here's what it is. It's still good enough for general use. This thing can make a great chopper. You can choke back on it with that bird's beak. This thing is just an awesome knife. I just love the look of it. It's so cool. That's the first one. Like I said, I got three of them. I love the dangler, too. Next one. Also has the same kind of sheath. Same sheath, really. They're identical. So, very cool. This one's in D2 steel. And it, it is, I think they call it a fighter buoy or something like that. I forget. I'd have to look at the box. But, there you go. Badass looking blade right there. I love the looks of this thing. It is so cool. Whew, man, it is. It's very comfortable in the hand. You can choke back on it if you were doing a little chopping or... If you're fighting, choke up. It's got the guard. You can choke up on it like this. It's a little... You can feel that if you try to put your hand up on the top, but you can do it. But it's more comfortable to go like that. If you're, you know, making a feather stick or whatever. Uh, there you go. Very cool. That's definitely got the looks of a fighter right there. Very cool. Another one that I really like. This one, I, I think I already said it, but it, in case I did not, it's a D2 steel. Again, Baron Sun D2 tool steel, made in the USA, which is definitely a plus. This one was a little more expensive, but only yeah, about $25 difference between the last one. And then the last one right here, another good quality leather sheath, but it's a little different than the others. Not on the dangler, but it's got the same type of uh, closure on it. And this one is a badass looking fighter as well. Look at that thing. Stag handles. India stag. All these are full tang. All of them made in the USA. And this one is also 12C27. I don't think it says it on the blade, but it is. Very cool also. They make another one identical to this, except it's um, Damascus steel. But that one's like 250 bucks or something like that. 225 250 something like that this one is only like uh, I think I paid about 125 for it roughly might have been a few dollars one way or the other but it's about right brass guard full tang handles comfortable I mean it's very neutral so as apostle piece as human hands were made to hold a stick and that's basically the shape of a stick so very comfortable and badass is all hell obviously primarily and Intended use is primarily as a fighter, but of course you can you can choke up on this and do some finer woodwork or cut your game, uh, process your game, cut your f food and veggies for uh, your camp stew or whatever the hell you're making. Cool knife altogether. Anyways, that's all I got for right now. Three bear and sun buoys. Big badass knives. I think they're all... Uh, 
nine inch blades i do believe if i remember right i'm pretty sure they're nine inch not ten inch but there you go badass blades right there made in the usa that's all i got for you for now until the next one stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you